In this video, we'll tackle the initial stages of mammalian history in a beer bones manner. Mammals seem to have appeared on this planet shortly after the Permian extinction, which ended 252 million years ago. By 225 million years ago, mammals were around. But this was destined to be the age of the dinosaurs, who dominated the land up until their collective demise 67 million years ago. Despite this lack of impressiveness of early mammals, they were destined to begin growing and occupying more niches around 50 million years ago. One early mammal, Megazostrodon, serves as an example of the life patterns of early mammals. Megazostrodon was likely nocturnal and was an insectivore. Unlike later mammals, Megazostrodon still laid eggs like its cynodont ancestors, such as the synapsid reptile, Cynonathus. But despite the norm being rather small, some mammals managed to grow slightly larger and have a more dangerous diet as well prior to the extinction event that killed off the dinosaurs. One such mammal was the meter-long Repenomammus of 125 million years ago, who has been found with baby dinosaurs in its belly. Most mammals, however, remain scurrying about in the undergrowth, but at least one of our forebears was there, sticking it to the man and eating his babies. Eventually, mammals would become the man, but that would take some time. Instead, even as we turn from the Cretaceous period into the Paleogene, with the dinosaurs all dying at the border between the two, mammals remained relatively innocuous in the grand scheme of life on Earth. Small insectivores or omnivores remained the norm for some time such as the Paleocene Cryacus, who was about 1 meter in length and weighed 15 pounds, and Tylidus, a 12 to 20 inch mammal that may have led a squirrel-like lifestyle. But already in the Paleocene, there were larger mammals, who portend the time to come when many large mammals would dominate many varied niches in our biosphere. Mesonychids, who superficially resemble wolves, are an example of this, with Oncologin surignathus growing to be the size of a beer. Later in the Paleogene period, in the Eocene epoch, a mammal named Ambulocetus appears some 48 million years ago, who despite being a land animal, has webbing between his claws and would have been capable in the water. At least one mammal was now moving to the water from the land on which its relatively short-term mammalian ancestors were born.